Now, again, I don't want to get into big theory about this stuff, but if we're in the key of G major, our notes are G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and then it goes back to G, and the key of E minor uses those same notes. So a really easy way to think about this is if you're in the key of G major, or any key for that matter, and you go up one, two, three, four, five, six notes, that note that you're playing is what we often refer to as the relative minor. Okay, so just understand that if the song was in E minor, and think about how many songs you've played that are in E minor, especially if you play rock or metal or anything like that, play it all the time. So the beauty of learning G major is you're also learning E minor at the same time. G major and E minor or E natural minor or whatever you want to call it, use the same notes, they use the same chords, so we can really say they are the same thing. The difference is going to be in your approach to soloing, which we're going to get into a little bit later. 